Hey, Elvis Cup Guy here. Quick video. I got another one of my scrapbooks I'd like to uh, show you real quick. It's got some miscellaneous stuff in it, but mainly it's got uh, tour programs from 70 to 77. So I'd like to go ahead and uh, just briefly show you. And there's a mystery photo that I'm, another mystery photo I'm trying to identify. Uh, so let me go ahead and get into it. So here's the scrapbook, and like I said, it's got miscellaneous stuff in it, stuff that's really not that pertinent. That's just a picture, eight by 10, of when I saw Elvis, uh, February 21st, 1977, in Charlotte, North Carolina. But it's just a print. Uh, another photo of Elvis holding the cup that I do own. This was something that was from a drive-in movie theater. It's a little, I guess, handmade poster that they had made. Looks like it's dated uh, uh, December 20th, 1958. And it's uh, kind of advertising the late show at a drive-in movie. And it was, uh, you know, don't forget Elvis. Obviously, he was um, overseas in Germany. And it looks like they're going to show some Elvis movies and a look-alike contest and a motion picture that says, uh, Elvis says, is his best. So I would assume that's King Creole. All right, picture of the print of Elvis holding the cup that I own from February 21st, 1977. Um, 19, I believe this is 1970, 71, a concert tour program. I'm not gonna bother taking it out. I think this is 1971 for sure. Photo album. Okay. Uh, like I said, this stuff is in no particular order. Okay, this is interesting. This really got on Elvis's nerves. This is the famous National Enquirer from 1974, November. 19th, 1974, and if you look, Elvis at 40, paunchy, depressed, and living in fear. Middle age has put a paunchy roll around rock and roll king Elvis Presley. Shown on a recent tour, Presley is played by an intense fear of being kidnapped, shot, insiders reveal. They couldn't believe uh, the fatigued, depressed, and awful looking Presley they saw, and there's a, a story inside. So anyway, that's uh, the famous Inquirer cover that really ticked Elvis off. Okay, I'm gonna save the mystery photo to the end, so please, it's right here. But please watch the video to the end because I need your help identifying exactly when this mystery photo was taken. This is a coloring book. I'm not gonna bother taking it out from 1978, uh, put out by somebody that had licensed the rights to put it out. So I'm gonna skip that. This is volume seven. I did a video, I don't know, a few weeks ago about this, trying to determine if this was ever actually sold at Elvis, any Elvis concerts because the footage from CBS still shows volume six. So I'm gonna skip over that. This is interesting. This is from Fast Company Magazine. I don't know the exact date, but it's from a few years ago. But it looks like, uh, well, it's not look like the back page. There's a full page ad for Triumph Motorcycles. But it's an official ad, and 
Uh, this is, of course, Stay Away Joe, but Triumph somehow got the rights, managed to work this out with Elvis Presley Enterprises, and uh, looks like Castrol is sponsoring it, and so is Triumph, but there's an ad with Elvis advertising Triumph magazines from a few years ago. All right, this is from uh, Souvenir Folio Concert Edition. This is from 1975, okay. Uh, there's another one from 1975. Now, check this out. This is Tour Photo Album, 1970. But what's interesting about this one, and this is what I've researched and found out, this particular issue is the only issue that has the $1 price printed onto the uh, tour photo album. And from what I've researched, this was only sold at the Houston Livestock and Rodeo Show. So I believe, and please leave a comment if you know any different, but other photo albums from the 1970 tour are blank right here, but this one with the one dollar price printed on the front of it, there you see it, means that it is from and was sold only at the Houston Livestock Rodeo Show in 1970. So there it is. All right. These are from, I believe, 72. Okay, yeah. No, hold on. This one was bought June 21st of 73. And I, I should have looked up the date before I did the video to see what city this was in. But anyway, there's a couple of those. So maybe it was sold 72, 73. Um... Here's another one from, I believe, 75. I'll spin it around so you can see it. All right. Hold on. I think that's 75. There were a couple different versions. And there's one like the other ones I showed earlier. This is volume five. Okay, so I get an extra one of those. Okay, now here's volume six that I know they sold in late 76 and 77. Okay, and then I believe I'm on the last page, yeah. My last one here in this scrapbook, volume six. Now the program I bought on February 21st, 1977, I've got up uh, in my house and it's separate from these in this uh, uh, scrapbook. Now on to the mystery photo. Um, I've been trying to determine exactly when this photograph was taken. My first inclination is that it was taken uh, at the, one of the Madison Square Garden shows, but I'm not sure. And if anyone could tell me when and where this was taken, uh, I would certainly appreciate it. So please leave a comment uh, as far as if you could tell me where and when this photo was taken. I'll hold it still. So there you go. Just another one of my scrapbooks. I wanted to show you and kind of thumb through. And like I said, um, interesting. National Enquirer cover that really ticked Elvis off. The cool Triumph ad from a few years ago, which I didn't know existed. And 
Please, someone help me identify the mystery photo. When and where was it taken?